Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back. I'm Brian Shoning with the Seasons Media and I'm going to give you some gear reviews here. So if you're watching this um, and you feel like you've already seen this video, uh, you might be watching a different one. So I'm actually going to do four different gear reviews, um, but I'm going to use kind of the, some of the same intros video stuff. So this is my new Nemo sleeping bag. It is the Sonic Ultra Down Zero in a long version. Um, being 6'2", I don't quite fit into the regular version. There's gonna be a little bit of extra space in the long, but obviously I need the extra space over being too short. So I'm pretty excited to try this. We, we uh, camped uh, last weekend, but it's a warmer bag than the one I have and I let my daughter sleep in it. So I'm gonna get you a good one today. All right, so we got our tent set up, our pad blown up, the pillow bone up. Let's get the bag out. Now this is the storage bag that this is in. I will show you tomorrow when I wrap things up um, how small this thing actually packages up. Um, you want to keep it in this storage bag. That way um, you can keep that down lofty. Um, you definitely don't. I am recording, right? Okay. Um, you definitely don't want that down being compressed the whole time. So. I'm just gonna dump it out of this storage bag that I just pulled out of the basement. Okay. Um, let me get it here so you can see this. Here's the storage bag. I just threw it inside, or the compression bag. Sorry, just threw it inside the bag here. Uh, there's a lot of things I really like about this. I, I like the hood. Um, it's a mummy bag. I don't necessarily like sleeping in them a whole lot, but I know if it's super cold that that's a feature that you have to have. Um, the zipper is a great YKK zipper, um, and on the inside, geez, it's already warm on my legs. Um, on the inside, it's reinforced here right around the zipper, so there's no catching and stuff like that. Awesome feature, because some of the bags I've had in the past, they do catch themselves, um, and this one cannot do that with this reinforced. I don't even know what it's made of, but it's reinforced there and it can't do that. Um, on the inside, there is Velcro that um, can attach and kind of close that off. Okay, on the inside, where are we at here? So it just kind of tightens around your neck a little bit more. Um, it does have your drawstrings here so you can tighten that up if it's really cold. Do that. Okay, I'm not gonna unzip this thing all the way for you, um, but it has a pocket here where I envision myself keeping my phone. So it's nice and close. Phone just slips right in there. It's in the bag, it's close, it stays warm. It's by your face for your alarm for, to get up and uh, get out there in the field. Now, they advertise this bag as being very versatile, and one of the reasons for that is their um, patented thermogills. I guess I think they're patented, and maybe I just made that up. Um, but they got these thermogills here, so if it's warmer, you open these up and you're vented. If it's colder, you just zip these up, and it keeps all of that heat all of it inside and those are found on both sides of that Nemo bag. Um, the last main feature that I already know about before using it that I really like um, is the foot box. One, it's bigger. Okay, I like the bit lo little bit larger foot box. You can put some stuff down inside of it to keep it warm. Sorry, my bags are blown away. Um, not to keep it warm, excuse me, to dry some stuff out overnight. Um, but it's also waterproof. It's got a waterproof shell on it, which is really important for me because I am very tight inside my Hilleberg Solo. Um, so my feet do typically touch the end of my tent. Condensation gets wet, obviously, um, and that's an issue if you're not reinforced with some sort of waterproof coating. So um, I'm real excited. Tonight's actually made the first night I sleep in this bag. So I'm really excited to try it out. It's gonna be cool tonight. So it's gonna be like 20. Um, so we're gonna give it a good test tonight. I think I'll be able to tell if it's gonna hold up for everything that I want it to. So um, 
again, whichever video you're watching here, make sure you catch the rest of them. Uh, we got the Hilleberg Solo Tent, the Climate Insulated Ultralight V sleeping pad, and the X-Pillow. And then we also have this Nemo sleeping bag, um, which is the Ultrasonic Down Zero in a long version. Um, so check, make sure you catch all these videos. One thing I know that I'm gonna have to get used to that's gonna be different than the last bag I had um, is that the zipper on this Nemo bag is on the left side. And why that matters is because it is on the opposite side of my tent door, so I will have to crawl across my bag to get in if it's not opened up so I can just slip in. Um, it's not gonna be the most convenient, but I did a lot of study studying on uh, what bag to get, so that little bit of a nuisance is gonna be worth it, I'm pretty sure. All right, we're settling in for the night. So again, this is a good test of my uh, new Nemo sleeping bag. So we're gonna see here how this thing goes, and uh, I'm giving her the real test, so it's, second, let me tell you what the temp is. Currently feels like 17 degrees. Oh, 19. Okay, so it's below, just below freezing. It's about 28 degrees right now. Um, but this is the lowest. Um, oh, geez, you're fogging up in here. It's like hot. One second. That's better. Um, this is like the coldest night we're gonna have in a while, so this is the best night to test it out. And uh, I got nothing on my legs. I'm gonna wear a t-shirt on my top. And my legs are already warming up, so I think we're gonna be pretty good to go. But uh, we're gonna give it the real test and see how this goes. All right, we'll catch you all in the morning. All right, everyone, welcome back. It is the next morning. Um, it's a little bit later in the morning because I did want things to dry out before I showed you how I put everything away. So, all right, let me give you a review on how my Nemo Ultrasonic Down uh, 800 fill long version of my sleeping bag went last night. And if that's not the video you're watching, make sure you find that video. Um, if you're watching us on Fix, that's just on our profile. If you are watching us on YouTube, uh, you can find those links within this video uh, or at the end here. This thing went super, it was went so smooth. I actually, so it was 20 degrees last night and I woke up in the middle of the night in like a panic. I could not get out of the sleeping bag fast enough because I was hot. So what I did, I got it opened up, I cooled myself down, um, and then I opened um, up my thermo gills for the rest of the night. Uh, foot box, my feet stayed super warm. There was some extra space down there because it fits up to a 6'6 person and I'm only 6'2", so there was some extra space which will be nice. I can get some stuff packed down in there and dry it off and through the night and things like that. So um, all in all, I had no complaints. Towards the top, of, there is one thing. Towards the top of my zipper, it gets a little tight um, sometimes it gets hard to zip up, but I, I kind of think that's just the more use it gets, uh, it'll wear a little bit and it'll get a little bit easier to use. So that would be literally the only complaint. There was some condensation on the top this morning. Um, that has now dried out. Everything's still super lofty. Um, the foot box was wet, but again, that has that liner on it. So that's not going to go through. It has a little more waterproof liner there. So, um, <laughs> I'm super excited about this for my upcoming fall trips. Um, I'm not gonna tell you where exactly we're going yet because that hasn't been released, but this will more than do the job for what I'm looking for. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna show you how I would pack this in the back country so it's tight and small and I'll show you what that looks like. And then I'll actually have to undo that and put it in the storage sack. But for now, let me show you how I'm gonna pack this thing in. All right, so I'm gonna, I like to go ahead and zip all my stuff up. I don't like leaving things open, so I'm gonna zip it all the way up.
grab my stuff sack here. All right, so here's the stuff sack and it's gonna fit all in here and it's gonna be um, pretty packable really. So all you need to do, you don't need to worry about like folding it up nice or anything like that because it is all down obviously. Um, so it's gonna compress on its own. So what I always do, I always start with the foot box and I just kind of grab it, and just shove it in there. And by not folding it, you're also saving yourself some of that time in the field. But I'm just gonna grab and just keep on stuffing until that thing goes in there. Put you down a little bit. I don't like this string hanging out, so I just kind of stuff that inside there too. Okay. Flip that up over the top. Oh, where'd that go? I'm gonna tighten those just a hair. Here. All right, and then from there, now I have it like so. It's not fully compressed yet. I am going to just slowly um, push and tighten these up so that one's fully tight that one's tight that one's tight and that one's tight and that's what we got so this thing comes in at I think it was 3.9 pounds but uh you can see right here I got the actual weight I'm pretty sure that's what it was though um, got a nice little handle here it's gonna fit nice in your pack not gonna take up a whole lot of space it is obviously a little bit on the more expensive end of sleeping bags um, but uh, you, you're gonna get what you pay for um, I mean you get into any of those the climate the Kelties um, you're talking pretty high dollars um, the thing that sold me over some of these those other ones is I can't remember which one's which. I was looking at the Climate, the Kelty, and then this Nemo one. Um, and one of them was only, I can't remember if it was a 650 or a 700 fill, um, but this being an 800 fill, I knew this was gonna be warmer. Yes, they were rated to the same temps, um, but I have been in situations where less fill, and they say what the temp is, um, and it just wasn't accurate. I'm not saying that those were not accurate, I'm saying from my experience with other bags, I have ran into that. So I wanted the higher fill. Um, the, I think it was the Kelty that was also 800 fill, um, but it weighed more. So I went with the lighter version. Uh, this had some features, um, not necessarily that the other ones didn't. I don't remember off the top of my head, um, but it had that extra liner on the foot box, which was important to me. Um, it was a bigger so it wasn't like tight and compressed it has some room for like my shoulders and stuff and I'm a, I'm a little bit bigger guy in the shoulder so that was important as well that I had a lot of space for me I'm a side sleeper so I want to be able to kind of roll around in that bag a little bit also so um, a little bit more on the expensive end um, than what some bags are but this thing is gonna last forever and I don't think I am gonna have any complaints with this so uh, if you have any questions make sure you reach out to us ask um, if you're watching us on fix tv i appreciate your support there uh, if you're watching us on youtube what's it saying there oh, sorry 
thought my camera went off. If you're watching us on YouTube, make sure you smash that subscribe button. Um, all of your support is greatly appreciated. Check out our website, that's theseasonsmedia.com. Uh, find us on Instagram at theseasonsmedia. Um, and if you don't, if you aren't subscribed on Fix TV, we greatly appreciate your support. Uh, so subscribing on our page, uh, we get a little bit of that back. Uh, it helps us grow. Um, yeah, and we got some big things coming this year, so we're super excited. You're going to want to follow along for this one. So thanks for watching, everybody, and we'll catch you on the next video.